Bisbee is a charming town located in southeastern Arizona. It's known for its rich mining history and its eclectic culture. It's located just 23 miles from Tombstone, Arizona. In last week's video, we visited Tombstone. We stayed a night in Sierra Vista, and then we headed out to Bisbee the next morning. The Queen Mine is a historic copper mine. This mine was in operation from the late 1800s until 1975. During its heyday, it was one of the largest and most productive copper mines in the world. Good morning from Bisbee, Arizona, and this morning we're gonna start at the Queen Mine Tour. Bisbee was huge in copper mining back in the 1800s. It's an adorable little town nestled in the mountains here in southeastern Arizona. A um, little cooler than Tucson area because it's at such high elevation. It's a cute town, we're gonna walk around there later, but we're gonna start our morning with a tour into the mountainside. This is a number one top rated attraction in Bisbee. I wanted to ensure we were able to visit. Reservations are recommended, so I called the day before to reserve a spot on the morning tour. It's also advised that you arrive 30 minutes early, and that was important as everyone has to check in at the ticket office to pay and sign a waiver. While you wait for your tour, they have a pretty impressive display of rocks and minerals from the area and a really nice gift shop. There is plenty to do while you wait. When they call for your group, you line up for your hard hat, your light, and your safety vest. They get everyone fitted with the hard hat, the vest, and the light. Ready for the tour. And it's chilly, so dress warmly. So cute. We all get in this thing. Straddling this car and heading into the mountain was one of the highlights of this trip. Now this becomes a two-man operation by candlelight. One man's going to stand here and turn it, the other man's going to stand back here and hit it. I wanted to demonstrate this a little bit. Do you know if my partner didn't come up here? You know, We've been together for three days. He told me he's got a sore thumb. The tour guide would show different areas, explain the various methods used in mining, and some of the challenges they faced. All of the tour guides here were actual miners that have retired from Phelps Dodge. They love to share their interesting experiences in the mining industry. If you look at that bent up handlebar, folks. Uh. You Flip. tell me what his vocabulary was after he smacked it into the wall. <laughs> you now know it's a copper mine. Has anybody got any idea what kind of a rock I'm holding? Copper. A better <laughs> it's called Leverite. Leverite there because it has no copper vessel. <laughs> That tour was so much fun. I highly recommend it. The guys that give the tour are old miners themselves. They have a lot of experience and they talk to you about the methods in which they used to mine these old caverns. Bisbee, that particular mine had over 5,000 miles of rails all around in the mountain on different levels. That's absolutely crazy to me. So the tour is about an hour and a half. You're supposed to get there. The full tour is about an hour and a half. You're supposed to get there 30 minutes early. I recommend calling and reserving a spot so they don't sell out and dress warmly it is real chilly in there totally fun great time look at the pretty color there after leaving the queen mine i recommend you drive just one more mile down highway 80 to see the lavender pit and the small historic community of lowell for some nice photo opportunities 
we're at the Lavender Pit scenic area here right before you arrive, right on the southern side of Bisbee, I believe. Uh, it's actually really close to the mine that we just toured. But um, unfortunate part is they've got these big fences kind of blockading the view. Uh, I guess people were, I don't know what they were doing. Somebody always has to ruin it for everybody, but we'll take a quick look. when they're having motorcycle rallies and it's usually pretty loud. So, this is a really neat town. There's not a ton of parking and I wanted to actually stay in Bisbee but all the hotels were booked. So we're just gonna walk around a little bit, check out, check out some of the stores, probably pick up a cup of coffee. Um, I highly recommend you come and spend some time here in Bisbee. This is the Bisbee Mining and Historical Museum. On this trip, we did not have time to take a look inside. We did, however, go up and down Main Street. It is so picturesque, and it has a ton of shopping, antique stores, and restaurants. This building down here on the south side of Main Street was referred to as the Convention Center. It has a fair amount of restaurants and stores, and yes, the public bathrooms are in here. This beautiful building, the Copper Queen Library, is also right here across the street. So Bisbee has a lot of great shops and places to check out. They have several historic hotels, uh, which were full for this weekend. Um, but if you want to dig into some of that history that's fascinating of this area, those would be great places to visit. There's also a historical museum that we didn't check out today. I'm going to lead you at this point to a link down in my description. Uh, Cactus Atlas has some really good videos covering the history of this area if you're interested in finding out more. Now we are in a hurry to get to Tucson today. So we're going to cut this visit short. This would be a great place to come back and spend more time. Mm -hmm. 